was a boy, I loved monster movies. Okay, I still love monster movies. But as a small kid, along with the movies, there were a few magazines that were devoted to sharing my love for monsters. My mother thought they would give me nightmares and didn't want them in the house. So I would try to keep them hidden from her. One of my favorite magazines was Famous Monsters of Filmland. It was the creation of a man by the name of Forrest J. Ackerman. He's the one who coined the phrase sci-fi. Through his magazine, he opened the hidden world of monster movies and behind the scenes of making monster movies to not only my young mind, but also to every other kid of a kindred nature. I'm talking about people like Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Rick Baker, Dennis Muren, Phil Tippett, Stan Winston, Peter Jackson, and Stephen King. It's a long list that goes on and on. Forrest shared a letter with us that was sent to him by a 12-year-old Stephen King. It was Stephen King's first story, and Forrest had kept it. In the mid-90s, I had the good fortune to meet Uncle Forrest, as he was lovingly referred to by those of us who admired and loved him, and got invited to visit him at his Acker Mansion home in L.A. for a private tour of his monstrously large collection of monster-making memorabilia. Over the years, he had collected old wax recordings used in the making of movies such as Frankenstein and Dracula. He had tons of movie props, first edition books like Frankenstein, autographed by Mary Shelley herself. He was lifelong friends with people like Ray Harryhausen, Ray Bradbury, Bella Lugosi, Boris Karloff, and Vincent Price. Over the years, because of his growing Hollywood connections, he made over 150 cameos in various sci-fi and monster movies, including a cameo in Michael Jackson's Thriller video. If you watch carefully in the theater scene of Thriller, you can see him seated just behind Michael and his date. So in May of 1995, Cindy and I and our children paid a visit to the Acker Mansion. From 1995, I hope that you'll enjoy getting to take a little peek inside the Acker Mansion with us. Years late, but uh, <laughs> well, now, now who's that next to you? Uh, well, that's Walt Doherty, the photographer for Famous Monsters. Wow, look at that! <laughs> Woo. Movie director John Landis put together quite a few of these when he was a teenager. John Landis, no kidding. The models themselves here. Oh, I don't know how I could say. Oh, and there's the famous helmet from uh, old Gene Autry was in the picture. Yes. I remember seeing that. Wow. Here's my 
favorite girlfriend I fell in love with when I was 10 years old. Oh, well, come stand over next to her. I'm gonna, sure. I'm going to have to get a picture of myself with you next to her. You bet. Ultima Futura Automaton. Took a year and a half and 600 hours to put her together. What is she made of? Uh, oh, it's a balsa wood, I believe, basically. Balsa wood? Mm-hmm. Boy, we're here in the Acker Mansion with Uncle Forey. He said that I could call him uh, Mr. Ackerman, sir. Uh, <laughs> so I'm mm. pleased to meet that. Uh, I'm so very pleased to meet you. And well, likewise. likewise. And, uh, this is quite an honor for us. Okay. This is uh, amazing story. Yeah, this is the one that story. jumped off the newsstand, grabbed hold of me, and uh, these How's young that? ladies are too young to know, but in those days, magazines spoke, and this one said, Take me home, little boy, you will love me. <laughs> is, now, is that the original one you purchased? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, the artist Frank R. Paul redrew it and moved a futuristic me into it and changed it to amazing forays and moved it a hundred years into the future. Is it uncomfortable? Well, uh, ever had a dentist, they put this real cold stuff here in a tooth and it's all over your face. <laughs> mm. Straws up your nose so you could breathe? Uh, they, some people they do, it was, was okay with me. I'm oh, kidding. and that's from, it came from beneath the sea, isn't it? Uh, the uh, Washington Monument from uh, came from beneath the sea. Where are you pointing? Scarcely. Uh, isn't it the one? Earth versus the flying saucers. <laughs> What's that uh, doing beneath uh, the sea? <laughs> the, uh, I'm getting the two mixed up. Yes. Oh, behind you is, is the came from beneath the sea, the watchtower there in San Francisco. <laughs> oh yeah. Boy, do I feel dumb. <laughs> I watch them all the time, and I'm sitting there mixing the dough. Well, that's why that's probably why I'm getting mixed up. I, I, I watch them all the time. Yes, he does. He I know he did that deliberately, just to test <laughs> me to see if I. He falls asleep watching. <laughs> oh yes, I do. Fifty horror movies. <laughs> we made this one. It's thirteen, you say. Mm -hmm. And Rick Baker recently restored restored the Pteranodon. I was trying to fly away with favorite. When I got that originally, I, it was in a shoe box that mailed to me, and I had to rush over to the nearest friend who would appreciate my find. And unfortunately, his wife entered the uh, and his wife answered the door, and uh, she didn't know anything about pteranodons or monitor things. She went screaming to her husband, and said, "I think Mr. Ackerman is here with a dead crow." Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> matter, Marianne. Yeah, so no, so no. Yeah. 
someone it opened up by itself. I thought it was my wool. disorienting. I'm not quite sure what to film and where to start. And
Close Encounters. Spielberg. Yeah, Over here. Steven Spielberg signed that poster for me. Think they're brave enough for go down to Grizzly Land? I'm not sure about their mother. What? I'm just watching. Okay. She, she's uh she's gonna rise to the occasion. All aboard for Grizzly Land, the son of Disneyland. <laughs> what are we seeing? Grizzly Land. Uh, I, I just let him check it uh, out. Let him go first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it hasn't been fed yet. Just, just wait here while I check it out. No, no, no! Stand back! <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait till I, till I call you. Still available. 
Is this is fan art? Father, who was the architect of the Bradbury building, he made these caricatures of Al Jolson. Ah. He also made this uh, automobile from Mars for me when I was a teenager. <laughs>
chateau in Switzerland where she wrote Frankenstein. I don't know if it's ever been established whether Frank Frankenstein wrote back or not. <laughs> and uh, there is her tomb in England, and this leaf came from the top of her tomb. Oh. After our visit through the Acker Mansion, we went out to dinner with Forrest and two of his friends. We had such a great time. I will never forget that visit. Unfortunately, Forrest is no longer with us, having passed away in 2008. His collection was auctioned off after his passing, and a great deal of it was purchased by the Mopop Science Fiction Museum in Seattle, Washington. So you can still see many of the items from his collection there. I recently came across a video from 2018 that shows what the inside of the Acker Mansion looks like today. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Thanks for watching.